Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. In today's podcast, we're going to be discussing some pretty interesting news. Uh, we are going to continue our interview series for 2021, but there's some very interesting news that came out recently. And I wanted to discuss that before we get back to uh, our interview series. And there's news that came out from the Telegraph UK that there are at least 2,000 Chinese communists that work for the big four accounting firms. And the craziest part is that this report is only about the UK. Can you actually imagine how many communists work for the big four accounting firms across the globe? And before people say that this is nonsense, you have to realize that there are always people trying to infiltrate the big four accounting firms. And we talk on here all the time about ethical problems of the big four accounting firms, lawsuits, and regulatory firms that come after the big four accounting firms because of insider trading and other ethical issues. So this is would not be crazy to say that the Chinese communists are inside of the big four accounting firms. And the reason things like this happen to the big four accounting firms is because they access confidential financial information before it is released to the public. So this would be important to anyone seeking access to privileged information. And you have to remember that much of what the big four accounting firms get to see at these companies is oftentimes not even released to the public ever. For example, if, if the big four accounting firms work on a consulting project for a large company, they might not audit it as well. They might just be a consultant. And because of that, they would see way more information than if they're the auditor. Because when you're an auditor, typically your client only gives you what you need. And that's what they're supposed to do. They're not supposed to give you a whole bunch of extraneous information for these reasons, for exactly these reasons. They don't want all this information being out in the public. They don't want potential bad actors. In this case, it would be spies to get a hold of that information. And they don't want people releasing it to the public. There's so many leaks around the world right now that you don't want information about your company being leaked. And there's... A lot of safeguards in the big four accounting firms. They make you sign contracts. They make you guard private information. Because sometimes when you work at the big four accounting firms, you get access to privileged information like social security numbers. And as a big four accountant, you have to keep that information private. So there's just so much privileged private information that you get access to the big four accounting firms that it does not surprise me that there's state governments putting people inside of these organizations trying to get at it and we see this all the time there's people selling insider information making deals about insider information that aren't attached to the communist party right there's people that just want to make themselves rich that won't have deals worked out with investment firms where they give them this information and this new story came from a huge database of chinese communists that was leaked out of australia Australia is the tip of the spear for everything happening related to COVID, apparently Chinese communism, and the big four accounting firms, because we've been getting a lot of our most interesting stories out of Australia. And the numbers that came out of this report is that Deloitte and ENY each had around 800 communists employed in their organizations, and reportedly 400 communists worked for KPMG, and that's basically your 2,000 right there. But there's also reports that there's some of them at PwC, including a partner. And that's another thing that came out of this news story, is that some of these communists inside of these organizations were partners. So they're making their way all the way up the chain, which again is not surprising. The hiring process at the big four accounting firms is not that stringent. They, they don't do a ton of background checks other than checking your credentials and that you have a degree. They're not really doing a security clearance as if you're working for a government position. 
I'm sure there's more to come from this as a result of this because there's going to be information that that people are seeing that got released as part of this thing. And accountants already face tons of regulation because of ethics violations that have occurred over decades. And if this becomes true and we see leaks were made to bad actors or spies, then it probably means that the accounting firms are just going to get more regulated. So I wanted to cover that today because I thought this was a very interesting story. People should keep an eye out for this, right? Uh, whether you work for the big four accounting firms or you eventually work in industry and you're trying to protect information, you need to keep an eye on this and you need to make sure that you only get the information that you need. When you're doing audit requests, a lot of associates and younger people try to request everything under the sun. And that's not wise. And it's also good to keep yourself from getting too much information because clients can come back and sue you later if the information gets leaked somewhere. But also, if you work at a client, like for the client in industry, then you want to protect your company's information because you don't want to lose your job because of something like this because you released too much information. So I think that's one way that people can combat this is request less information and protect the information if they work at the client. So that's the update for today. To stay up to date, make sure to subscribe to this podcast. And if you can, financially support us through the Buy Me A Coffee link in the show notes of this podcast. And if you can't do that, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video on our YouTube channel. Thanks for listening.